If you're a wedding florist, you're a veteran of hot days. So you always want to be careful of your flowers when they're going out into the heat. I've prepared this in advance in my workroom with a raquette. This is an 18 inch. They also come in 27 and 36. The raquette has a plastic covering that holds that water in to help the flowers make it through the hot afternoon. So I brought my flowers out. If I were gonna have to leave them more than 30 minutes, I might wanna cover them with tissue paper to keep the sun from burning directly down on them. Never plastic. Plastic will direct the heat and make the flowers wilt even faster. I also wanna be sure that my flowers are well hydrated. I brought some finishing touch along to help them to hydrate. So I would go across and do all of my flowers in the entire arrangement with my finishing touch. Then I want to add the last of my greenery to the design. I wanted to put it in place before I added all the wispiness because this was easier to deliver in the back of my van. So I have bind wire and I have wrapped it around before designing the arrangement. Now I'm coming around the form and I'm tying it off and then I will tuck those up into my flowers so they can't be seen. Making sure it's very, very secure because it's so important, not just for the beauty of the flowers, but for the safety of the participants also. So bringing those wires in and tying it off. Now I'm going to add some fresh greens. I'm going to add draping spring rye just coming in and tucking it right under the flowers. This gives that natural look to it. And this season, we do have a new love for nature. Everything natural is very big. I'm cutting it a sharp, sharp cut with my Smithers Oasis knife and tucking it in through my greens that I put in originally. Put just enough in originally to help establish the design, but I waited for the finishing touch with my primary greens. So I'm adding these in place. I like to have as much done as I can ahead of time in the workroom, but there's just some things that are added best at the end. It also allows you the opportunity, if you should have a flower go down, then you have the opportunity to remove it easier if you don't have the covering of greens. Greens are not just for hiding the Oasis products. They are also for adding a beautiful natural look to the design. There were a couple of years that foliages weren't very popular, but now if it's green or has a weedy form, it's in. So I want to add my foliages very carefully because they're very primary. The wind keeps blowing them away, and that's a little frustrating, but it's well worth the trouble to have it because it sure has made it cooler once the wind picked up. Now, I encourage you on days that you are doing an on-site installation, be sure you have a first aid kit in your van, and that first aid kit is not only for people, but for flowers. You wanna have wood picks, extra wires, a length of ribbon to attach something, you glue, finishing touch, crown and glory. You want to have materials that you can patch with, waterproof tape, anything that can help you when something goes wrong just to fix those little exits. That's what you want in your flower fix-it kit. It's a great idea to have in your delivery van for everyday deliveries as well. Now this has to be seen from all the way around, so that's why I'm careful to do both sides. I'm going to come around and see what last touches I need to add to the design. And then I'll come back to the back and double check it. Seeded uke has been such a popular greenery for the past couple of years that sometimes it can be hard to find, but there's different types of eucalyptus that can fill in the blanks. You can have gunny, you can have seeded, you can have feather, lots to choose from. 
you'll notice that my flowers are all at different heights in the design. That's so there's value for every flower. And it also gives definition to the arrangement. A composition is a 3D form, so be sure you make that 3D shape with your designs. A couple of last pieces to pop in place. And it's just in time. It won't be long until my bride arrives. <laughs>